the threat from Iran now under an incoming Biden administration. Joe Biden has indicated he wants to re-enter the JCPOA, even though it did nothing to stop Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. It just delayed it by a decade. Iran continues on their nuclear weapons program, you know, uh, unabated. Uh, they, what is what is going to happen if we don't do something is the most dangerous weapon in the world will be in the hands of the most dangerous country in the world. The people in Iran are religious supremacists who believe in an apocalyptic vision of how the world should proceed. They believe that they are the chosen people to bring this about. And the Trump administration was very wise in getting out of that agreement, cutting off their funding. So now they're in uh, in a very bad place economically. The Gulf states and the other Arab nations, they realize that Iran is a threat to their national security, to, to their existence. That's why they've been so open to, to making peace with Israel. And they are very, very alarmed at a possible change going forward. If there were the need for a military attack, that they had this coalition by recognizing and making these peace agreements with Israel, business relations, travel, re- tourism, uh, flights going back and forth now between these countries, that uh, Iran would have a serious coalition that would be fully armed and ready to respond to any kind of Iranian aggression. We have a situation where the incoming administration looks like it's going to totally reject the successes of the Trump administration just because they do not like the author of those policies. They don't, they're not looking at the success. We are going to have to be ready for yep. for the attempt to dismantle that because i will tell you that those gulf state leaders they're going to be very weary of now these agreements if they don't get what they were supposed to out of it uh and uh, that you know like f-35s ultimately delivered at certain standpoints because they've got advisors on the biden side saying well maybe we shouldn't send those remember iran is a hegemonic power they look back that they were once the Persian Empire, and they want to reestablish that as a Shiite Persian Empire throughout the Middle East. And the uh, Sunni kingdoms in the Middle East are fearful of that. It reminds me of what happened on, on the nuclear on the Korean Peninsula. We used negotiations and giving them vast amounts of aid, trying to talk North Korea out of acquiring a nuclear weapon. It was an unmitigated disaster so that today our only recourse on the Korean Peninsula is to warn Kim Jong-il not to use it and to hope that he does not. Do you really want that same kind of situation in the Middle East? Because if the Iran, yeah, because if worse. Iran gets a nuclear weapon, then all options are gone except warning them not to use them and yep. there is no guarantee that they won't. You're looking at a dramatic shift of policy. A policy that has been working very well for the United States for the last four years and culminated, as Jordan said, in these four arrangements. But that is about to be shelved. And that's, you know, unfortunately, that never came out during the campaign. No. What was at stake here? Honestly, people were so focused on COVID and domestic policies. And there's been such a calmness to our foreign policy, you know, troop withdrawals in Iraq and Afghanistan, the destruction of ISIS and the caliphate there. Um, and any attempt for them to come back was quickly, you know, being put down. The only thing that has stopped them from destroying Israel is that they don't have the capability to destroy Israel. So, you know, existential means it threatens your existence. And they are an existential threat to Israel. They could be to us because, as I mentioned earlier, you know, they might or might not deploy a nuclear weapon. It is unlikely they would have the capability or the inclination to deploy it in the United States. But there's nothing to stop them from giving a nuclear weapon to a terrorist group, which has no such reservations, no such rationality to do that. It's going to just take us back to the same bureaucratic junk State Department, worthless bureaucrats, can't get anything done unless they spend a, a give it a billion dollars. So when a Christian pastor gets picked up and is uh, being held, even by a NATO ally like Turkey, they're they're, they're not they're not going to worry about Joe Biden putting sanctions on them. They're going to just wonder how how big of a how big of a check can we get from the U.S. government.